Okay, I have a review this time for another NCH software product. Before I have reviewed WaveLab, VideoLab, and even MixLab. This time it's for their audio converter called Switch. From the top, you can add files, remove files from your list, play, convert, and get to preferences. Then at the right hand side of the toolbar you just have a way to share and get to some of the other software by the same company and view help. Let's take a look at preferences. Pretty standard first option which is to overwrite file name so if it finds a file already exists with the same name should it override it, should it make another file with a slightly different name and things like that. The standard overwrite options. Then you have a tab for conversion options. If source format, if the source file format is the same as the output, should it convert it anyway? Not compress file if source is MP3 with equal or better compression rate. Should it copy the files directly to the destination folder or not convert? Should it delete the source file after successful conversion or not? And remember settings for reading files only applicable for formats .raw and .vox. If errors are produced on any file, should it prompt you to ask you what you want to do or abort the conversion? Audio processing. Do you want to normalize the loudness of the vo volume when converting so you can select the amount of peak level 100% or 50% whatever? Do you want to use peak normalization or RMS normalize? The next tab is for CD tracks. So if you, you know, uh, convert in CD tracks, you wanted to access the internet database to receive the album details and uh, cover art, things like that. Automatic tag writing, only .mp3, WAV, WMA, FLAC and OGG file formats uh, allow automatic tag writing. Do you want to copy the track information from a CD database? Do you want to preview track information before writing the tags, etc.? And last, we have a tab called Other. You can select your default playback device when listening to previews. You can show an Are You Sure confirmation prompt. You can warn if your hard disk space drops below a certain uh, amount of megabytes. And duplicate files prevent duplicate files from being added to the list. Play a sound upon completion or not, bounce the dock icon or show an option dialog window to open a file or folder on completion of a process. Let's just hit OK. Now let's add a file. I've added a .mp3 file. It's about 4.5 megabytes and it's from my music folder. Now down here we can select the output folder, so where do you want your file, your end file to be saved to? And a drop down of presets for the format. Do you want it to be an mp3? Do you want it to be a .org? Do you want it to be a .mov? Do you want it to be a uh, FLAC, which is free lossless audio co codec? Or do you want it to be a .aiff, a .aif, or a few others such as your standard wave? Or do you want it to be some more, some less known file types such as Vox, WPO, RAW, or dot four MA, which is uh, best if you want to use it on things like the iPad and iTunes. Then we can get more advanced and select encoder options, and select your bit rate options here and your channel. So is it stereo? Is it mono? Do you want to force it? And do you want to include CRC to detect errors in your file? Then you can open the output folder by pressing this button here. You can also output to the same folder as the source files and ignore that or copy the folder structure of the source files there as well and hit convert. Now a good thing about converting audio, we don't have to worry about too much too much about how fast this program is because audio files tend to generally uh, convert very, very fast unlike video files. So we don't really have to worry about the speed of this program. It's more the options. So what do I think of it? I think it's a good batch f uh, audio file converter. So I recommend you go to the website of NCH Software and download a trial and see what you think for yourself. But I think it's a good dedicated batch audio converter. 
please like this video and if you could do me a huge favor and subscribe it only takes a few seconds and will help me out a lot thanks